what's up guys welcome back to Josh Discoding. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at event dispatchers and how we can use them inside of Unreal Engine. So let's hop straight into it. I will quickly create a new folder. Event dispatchers. Uh, add a space there. All right so event dispatchers before we get into the example essentially what they are is it is a sort of broadcast and listener type system so a actor can have an event dispatcher let's say activated and when this is activated anything that's listening to it will get notified so you could have say when the player activates an ability um say you have a whole bunch of actors you want to react to that and do a certain thing when a certain ability is used or whatever it might be you can just have one event dispatcher and have all those different actors bind to that event dispatcher and when that event dispatcher is called they all react so an example of how to do this i will start by creating a blueprint class an actor and i will call this bp underscore event dispatcher actor now if we open up this blueprint Right here in the uh, My Blueprint tab, at the very bottom, you'll see Event Dispatchers. And I will uh, turn off here to visit. So, um, so here in Event Dispatchers, if you click this, you create a new Event Dispatcher. This little plus here. And I'll call this Example Dispatcher. So what happens? is when we compile this first thing first if we were to drag this into our graph right now you can see there's a call so this is what calls it this says okay this has been activated a bind is how you tell an actor to listen to this so when it is called if it is bound it'll execute code you can unbind so this is unbind from a specific thing unbind from all unbind from all of them an event or a sign. <clears throat> a sign is basically a bind, but you see when you go to bind, you have to create an event. If you drag in and do a sign, it will bind and also create that event for you. So with that said, let's carry on. The first thing we'll want to look at is inputs. So for example, if we Call this right now, there's no input. But let's say we wanted to get a name from this dispatcher for whatever reason. Of course, you might want to get a, a location, a rotation, an integer, whatever it might be. I'll just use a name as an example. Or, you know, I'll just make it a string. And I'll call this um, example string. So now you can see when we call the event dispatcher, we have this new parameter, which let me just refresh this node. You'll get example string. And now you can add in whatever you want here. So we can say, um, hello world. All right. So on event begin play, we'll hook it up to this call example dispatcher. So on begin play, we will call this. Now, what we can do is create a, another actor. I'll call this BP um, test dispatcher. I don't know. doesn't matter. We'll uh, compile this. We'll come to our event graph. And what we can do now is... We'll get an actor of class. We will get our BP event dispatch actor. Now this is just an easy way to get a reference to an actor. If you are already referencing an actor some other way, of course you can do that. Uh, you just need to get a reference to this actor in some way, shape, or form. Now from the return value, what we can do is we can bind events to 
and then we can search for our um, example dispatcher. And of course, you can also assign to example dispatcher, assign example dispatcher, and it will create this event for us automatically. So let's actually just do that. Now it will, by default, call it example dispatcher underscore events. Um, typically, the best coding practice for this is to say on example dispatcher because this is executing when something happens. So on ability activated or on you know player death, you can do this. So now what we'll do is we'll just add a print string and we'll add in our example string. So on begin play of our event dispatch actor, it will call this dispatcher and then our test dispatcher will bind to it. Now one problem here is that since these are both being done on begin play, this might get called before the bind occurs. So we'll just add a 0 0.2 second delay. So now when we add these both into a level, and we run it, we'll get hello world. So again, on begin play, after 0 0.2 seconds, we call this dispatcher. And because this actor is binded to it, when this gets called, this code gets executed. Now, of course, you can advance on this. Like, you can, you know, um, set a material, set a mesh, do whatever you want. So for example, I will add a static mesh component and let's set it to a sphere. Why not? Um, so of course in your game, this can be, you know, when a player activates an ability, you want a bunch of things around it to change its material or you want it to play VFX or you want it to take damage, whatever it might be. This is where you can do it. So like if you wanted everything in an area to take damage, you could do on player ability activated, pass in a float for the damage and then execute your code there. There's a whole bunch of examples I could give you for how to use this. But again, if we come and run it, now you can see when it gets called, it adds this sphere. So that is the basics of event dispatchers. They are a very useful tool to know how to use an Unreal Engine. So if you do have any questions, or need anything clarified, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to respond. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with videos. With that said, I hope you guys have a good day and good luck with your games.